This is incredible. Rare surgery saving the life of a baby boy before he was born. You see, the procedure was the first of its kind here in Florida. NBC6 reporter Amanda Placencia spoke to the doctors at Jackson Health System who stepped in to help. Amanda? Yes, Jackie and Roxy, and when those doctors were presented with a patient who had a rare pregnancy issue, they didn't waste any time. They performed the first ever in utero embolization reported in Florida at Holtz Children's Hospital. Now let's get right to some video of that child's mother, Laine Ramos Arango. She is now snuggling her beautiful baby boy, a healthy five-week baby boy named Lucas, in her arms. But at 35 weeks pregnant, her OBGYN discovered something very unusual. Her unborn child had developed a rare blood vessel abnormality inside the brain called a vein of Galen malformation. The survival rate for babies born with the condition are very low, so she was referred to Dr. Robert Stark, a neurosurgeon with the University of Miami Jackson Memorial Hospital, and Dr. Rodrigo Ruano, the director of UHealth Jackson Fetal Care Center. Along with their team, Dr. Ruano and Dr. Stark performed the first ever in utero embolization reported in Florida. It was only one of five cases performed so far in the U.S. Now, after the surgery, Iran gave birth to a healthy baby boy via C-section. Lucas is now thriving and growing thanks to the life-saving efforts of these doctors. So why this baby is a miracle? Because we did this procedure in utero and then the baby was born 39 weeks term by elective C-section to protect the head and the baby stayed in the NICU in the neonatal intensive care unit just for a week. Usually those babies, they stay there for many, many months. So that's a miracle. That's what I said. She says she is immensely grateful to her doctors and in love with her miracle baby. It's incredible the love and the effort and the tech and, and all the work and the science put into this incredible miracle here, Amanda. I, how do they do this procedure? It's pretty incredible when they explain it to us. I'll give you the shortened version. So basically, doctors use a needle to go into the mother's abdomen and then into the baby's vein. Then they use some sort of straw-like tool to put coils to block out that malformation. So I'll have more from doctors about how they do this in my next report at 6 p.m. But for now, I'm live at Holtz Children's Hospital. Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News. Back to you, ladies.